Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? Today's tutorial is going to be how to use the Crunchyroll beta to use MPVacious for sentence mining. If you need a refresher on how that looks, here it is. Okay, so all you do in the MPVacious player is you just find a word that you don't know, and then you create a flashcard for it, um, set the timings, and then create it, and you have your flashcard. So it takes like 5 to 10 seconds to do, and it has the audio for the flashcard. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's go ahead and open up a new tab on the browser and all the links are going to be down below for what you're going to need. But today's video, I would recommend going check out how I got MPVacious and MPV installed down below in the description. Go check out that video before you start sentence mining here. Today's tutorial is just going to cover what you exactly need for the country rule beta website and how to get that one working. So if you don't know why everything is being merged onto Crunchyroll, so Funimation, VRV, all of that is going to be super merged onto Crunchyroll, which is why this is going to be an important little switch and a little important little thing you'll need to know how to do. So what you're going to want to search up is yt-dl, so let's do dlp, and you're going to click the top link from the GitHub. All of this is going to be down in the description below, and what you're going to do is scroll down until you have installation. And all you're going to do is click the Windows X64 if you have Windows or whatever version that you may have. If you have Mac, I believe this also may work with Mac. Yeah. Once you do that, go ahead and find a suitable location. I'm just going to put it in this one. This is the one I use for videos. And we're going to go ahead and download it. And once you download it, you're going to go ahead and click show in folder. It should be this YouTube download P with the .exe. And if you don't trust .exe files, uh, proceed at your own risk. So yeah, just telling you that beforehand, but for me, it's been safe. And here you have the YouTube DLP. And what you're gonna need to do with the YouTube DLP is move it into your program files, into, yeah, into your program files. So just click this PC, go ahead and go into your C drive. And then all you're gonna do is go into program files. And I have one in here already, but what you can do is right click on this right side here, click new, do folder create a new folder and then you're going to go I would name it youtube-dlp or yt-dlp once you're in here you're going to go ahead and just move that file into here I already have the file in here so I'm not going to do this but basically it's just going to move it into this folder and you'll be set for that the next thing you're going to want to search up is environment variables so we're just going to add it to your path variable go to environment variables here um, and then go to path, you're going to go ahead, go to edit, and then you're going to have this window here, open here. So what you're going to need to do here is just add it to your program path. And if you kept that folder open, it'll make it much easier. So just go ahead and right click it first, left click it, then right click it, then go to properties. And then you're just going to copy this location. So just hover over it hold over and then copy and then you're just going to go over back to this window here click new and then you control v and it'll paste it into there i'm not going to do that because i have one here already but that's how you get that one stored into your path and basically all that does is it allows windows to see that it is a application that it can use and see So go ahead, close out of all of that. We don't need that anymore. And everything should be working as is. So let's go ahead, jump on over to Crunchyroll. And depending on what country you're in, it's not in the beta version right now, but let's go ahead and log in. All right, and so I logged in and let's just go ahead and select some anime. And now <clears throat> let's go ahead and just show how this works. So basically what you can do is you can have MPV open and all you have to do is just drag and drop and it'll play the anime in the Crunchyroll beta now. And there you go. Now you can see that I do have the SAO loaded. We're just going to go ahead and play just to show you that it does in fact work. And then that's it. And so you have the, uh, you know, you have the subtitles down here. Um, sorry, I just unmuted it. Um, and yeah, that's how you get the Crunchyroll into MPV. And so once you have everything installed, MPV, MPVacious, and then the YouTube DLP, you should be set to go. So go ahead, jump down to the other tutorial that I had on how to get MPVacious working down below in the description, and that'll show you the workflow that 
still works for today. Additionally, I'm going to run through a little bit of troubleshooting right now. So let's see how you can troubleshoot if it doesn't in fact work for you. One thing that happens a lot is someone will drag a link into MPV and it'll just shut down. This is probably a cause of having either an old version of YouTube of YTDLP or having an old MPV or MPVacious. So you want to make sure that all of those are up to date. If you're still getting that, it can be a variety of different problems. For example, I'll show you what happens if you have an old version of YouTube DLP or a YouTube DL. Okay, so I got an older version of YouTube DLP. So let's see what happens if I go ahead and enter here and try to see what formats the URL has. It's going to try to run it and it's going to tell me that I have an unsupported URL. So that just means that you have to update it. Um, and the way that you can check out what version of YouTube DLP that you have is if you just do uh, yt-dlp double dash and then version and it'll tell you what version number you have. This one is the March 7th version of last year and so of course this one didn't support the um, beta version. And so that is one way that you can go ahead and um, check to see what's happening. And this is one error that does happen. If you get an unsupported URL, that's probably what you need to do is update everything to the latest versions. And an easy way to update it so you don't have to manually do it every time is go ahead, just search up CMD and run as administrator. And all you have to do is just type in YouTube DLT, DLP dash capital U. And it's going to go ahead and just update it as you can see right here. So I'm just going to re-update what I had and uh, yep. Then I'll let's go ahead and do YouTube, um, YouTube DLP version and it should be the February version. Yep. And so that's how you can update it very quickly in the command line. And so if you need to do any more troubleshooting or if this doesn't work for you, come on down to my Discord chat below and come ask me some questions in the tech help chat. But that is all for today's video. I will um, be making some future videos on some other things. And yeah, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please like and subscribe and good luck in your studies out there. And I will see you again in the future.